A new high-tech study has revealed nearly 1,000 ancient Maya settlements, including 417 previously unknown cities linked by what may be the world's first highway network and hidden for millennia by the dense jungles of northern Guatemala and southern Mexico. It is the latest discovery of roughly 3,000-year-old Maya centers and related infrastructure, according to a statement on Monday from a team from Guatemala's FAIRS Anthropological Research Foundation overseeing the so-called LIDAR studies. The findings were first published last, last month in the Journal of Ancient Mesoamerica, and all of the newly identified structures were built centuries before the largest Maya city-states emerged, ushering in major human achievements in math and writing. LiDAR technology uses planes to shoot pulses of light into the dense forest, allowing researchers to peel away the vegetation and map the ancient structures below. Now, among the details revealed, in the latest analysis are the ancient world's first ever extensive system of stone highways or superhighways, according to the researchers. And here you're looking at a map. There is, in fact, around 110 miles or 177 kilometers of spacious roadways averaging 9 to 15 feet wide, many of them causeways that make their way through very marshy, inhospitable terrain. Some of the causeways are even measuring around 130 feet wide and have been recorded to be elevated above the ground as much as 16 feet, which is 5 meters. Now, as part of the Cuenca Karstica Mirador Calcamul study, which extends from northern Guatemala's Penten jungle to southern Mexico's Campeche state, researchers have also identified pyramids, ball game courts, plus significant water engineering, including reservoirs, dams, irrigation canals, and more. What the big picture shows is economic, political, and social complexity of what was happening simultaneous across this entire area over 3,000 years ago. The latest finds date to the so-called middle to late pre-classic Maya era, from around 1,000 B.C. to 350 B.C with many of the settlements believed to be controlled by the metropolis known as El Mirador. That was more than five centuries before the civilization's classical peak, when dozens of major urban centers thrived across present-day Mexico and Central America. Now, what's going on out here? What we see is a very complex, well-spaced system of causeways and roads connecting major metropolitan city centers. And this would have been home to hundreds of thousands of people city to city, all connected by a series of meticulously made superhighways that are elevated, perfectly level, and flat. And this is from a culture that supposedly doesn't have the wheel. Here we're at a blog that says, real, real smart folks, but no wheel. Now, oddly enough, the Maya built roads but more correctly, causeways. These so-called roads are called sakbiob, meaning white roads. 
They're constructed of limestone and paved with natural lime cement called saskab. They're meticulously made like expert dry set masons with retaining walls and series of uplifts and back sets using tamping methodology. They're so resilient they could be equated with the Roman roads because they have withstood the test of time and still exist in their original form 3,000 years later in the jungles that they were originally built. And all the while from a culture that supposedly did not have the wheel. These causeways were often as wide as 10 to 12 feet and raised between a foot or so to as much as seven or eight feet. But based on the latest study, that's as much as 16 feet high and as much as 40 or 50 feet wide. Now the Sac Bayab at one Mayan site in Coba in the Yucatan of Mexico connects several major architectural groups the longest running an almost perfect straight line for over 60 miles. Archaeologists have found what may have been stone rollers used to compact the roadbed during construction, but no wheels. Well, that's because the wheels were probably made of wood and are now missing. As you can see here in an obvious toy from the Mayan culture from around this time, they were well aware of the wheel but archaeologists do not give them credence for them being in existence. Now, don't you think a smart Mayan person that wanted to take some goods from one place to the other on one of these roads may have fashioned a wagon to pull along with him, perhaps? I do. But the argument is that they didn't have any pack-type animals in the region to use to pull carts. That's why they never developed them. Now, they developed advanced pyramids, cities, and highways, and had road-making equipment, but they didn't use the wheel. That sounds, well, completely ludicrous. And as early as 2018, LIDAR has been revealing the thousands of cities that have gone undetected. These are massive complexes that extend for miles in all directions in the jungle. And here we can see some examples of those amazing, completely straight causeways connecting village centers and temple complexes and pyramids, massive pyramids upon pyramid complexes and more and more pyramids and pyramids and this is just mind-boggling. The extent of the roads, the causeways, the infrastructure, the stone walls, the elevated platforms that extend for kilometers in all directions would have taken tens if not hundreds of thousands of people years and years to flatten and erect these amazing structures. Now, one of the most recently exposed platforms is the largest platform ever found in the entire world, I think, several miles long, almost a half a mile wide, and that's just this rectangular feature, which continues with elevated platforms in the form of causeways in a grid system for miles in every direction. The implications of this type of massive construction are not only mind-bending and mind-blowing, but unimaginable and literally unexplained and recently discovered. This is brand new LIDAR imaging from just a few years ago, and archaeologists are trying to wrap their head around it. And for good measure, here is a very large scale this is about three quarters of a mile wide by a half a mile high. And you can just see how many structures and features are in less than one square mile in the jungle underneath Guatemala. 
There were millions of people 3,000 years ago in these places. Take a look at the scale of this feature. Absolutely astounding. And that's a boom to knowledge. I hope you got something out of the video. There is no way you couldn't have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Leave a comment below. And most importantly, become a Patreon and support the work we do. We love you. Be safe. And that's a boom.